Hello and thank you for joining me. Today what I'd like to do is have a quick look at how you might go about the design process of uh, putting together your learning management system course for your students. I'm going to look at Moodle in particular um, at 9 point, version 9.1 and what that might look like and also just kind of go through some of the aspects of something called the ICTELT model, ICT Enhanced Learning and Teaching model that you might find useful because it's got a few tools that can sort of um, guide the process. So what we have up here on the screen at the moment is a course designed using the ICTELT model. Um, and we'll come back to this in a second or two after we've had a look at some of the tools. So the ICTEL model is very much, it has a pedagogical philosophy underpinning the whole lot. The tools, as you can see, they're right on the edge. So they're almost the last thing that um, you take into consideration. Although there are some aspects that you would need to know about the functionality that might um, uh, help design or help your design process. Um, so I'm not discarding the necessity of thinking about the tools, but first and foremost, your learners, the learner's experience and your beliefs about how they learn. The ICTEL model and framework, if you're interested, this is a course that goes through um, the whole uh, set of tools. It has a scenario here. It's got papers, presentations, and links to resources and tool, tools around design in general, um, as well as links to other aspects uh, of this uh, approach that you might find useful. Also within that site is a list of, so if you look, if you're using instant messaging blogs or wikis, these are some of the, the benefits to students um, that they, they might find. So this can kind of help you in your selection process. What is it that you want to achieve with your learners and what might help you get there? If you already have a um, learning management system or a tool in place, then you might try this diagnostic matrix that looks at the design, facilitation, assessment and evaluation. And you can go through and kind of decide, well, where am I or where's the course and what are the things that I could do um, or could possibly do to move towards a, um, a, a course that will be highly developed and hopefully uh, would uh, enhance the learning experience for, for your students. One of the first uh, tools that you might want to look at, there's this mind map around course design. When we look at um, this course again, you will see these aspects from the mind map reflected in the course. So there's a welcome and contacts area, um, an area for communication and sharing, there's administration, there's the topic contents and so on. So if we just open up welcome and contacts, for example, so you've, you've got a welcome to the course, um, where you're going to find support. So this could be all sorts of things like how to use the learning management system. Um, it could be a glossary. There should be some sort of uh, participants' introductions. Where could they go to find out about each other and about you? Um, and sort of the main contacts for the course. For communication sharing, this would include things like the calendar, glossary, frequently asked questions, and so on and so forth. Administration. This is things like the learning outcomes for um, the whole of the course. It could be timetables. It could be things like avoiding plagiarism. Then if we move over to the topics, this is where it gets, this is very much pick and mix. You shouldn't necessarily have all of this in there. And in fact, it would probably be totally overwhelming. But what it looks at is scaffolding. What types of scaffolding are you going to put in there to support your learners? Um, activities it could be one or a combination of all of these things. And the types of tools that you could use to enhance these activities. 
and of course your assignments and assessments specific um, to your topic or module. So one of the first things that I tend to um, ask people to do when they're working with this particular mind map is to print it off on a piece of A3, unless you're really happy with mind maps, <laughs> and scribble all over it, cross things out, write down ideas, and sketch out diagrams. Um, and then start to think about how that's going to be structured within your own learning management system. Or if you're not using a learning management system, um, you could use this to, for example, design a course in Ning. Um, the philosophies and the approaches are, are, can be quite similar. So to, to just sum up here, um, welcome. So we've got the welcome area here. Um, and you've got sort of some help around how you get around the site. This is actually a, um, a, a self-selecting site, so there's no sort of direct learning outcomes or assessments. You've got the participants so who's enrolled in this course. You've also got online users. Who else is online at the same time as you, which is really neat because then you can do things like instant messaging between each other. You've got some of the activities in the course. You've got a glossary, um, you've got the calendar, and you've got links to other supporting um, areas within this program. If we just pop into one of the blocks, so this is your topic areas, you'll see there's the hit, this is where you get the learning outcomes. Um, you'll also find that there's your activities, You've got examples of already created resources that you can link to, um, discussions, and so on and so forth. And a, a, a user can either, a student can either work their way all the way through these, or they can pick which they want to look at first and what's going to make most sense to them. There's also quite a lot of multimedia in here. So you have, um, for example, embedded videos, you've got podcasts, you've got text, and different tones as well. So you've got research articles as well as blog posts and so on. So thank you very much indeed. Please do let me know if you've got any questions. I'd be very happy to um, uh, help out there. My name's Hazel Owen. Um, I, I can be contacted via the Ethos Consultancy New Zealand Ning site. Just Google that and you'll, you'll find it. Thank you very much indeed for listening and have a good day.